Hello, welcome back to the Cyber Panel uh, installation tutorial series. And uh, in this video, we are going to uh, to see how you can create uh, a database. So, uh, why would you think of uh, creating a database? Well, there are, there are a number of reasons uh, that would prompt you in creating uh, a database. For instance, if you want to uh, migrate uh, a WordPress website from uh, say a cPanel to or any other uh, any other platform and uh, you want to migrate it to cyber panel uh, as part of the uh, migration process you will need to to create a database that is you create a database and a database user for instance if you also want to 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 um, uh, configure a Django application you need to create a website if you want to host a PHP website that uses a database you need to create the database so there are a number of uh, quite a number of cases that will prompt you to to create a database and uh, that is the purpose of this uh, tutorial video to show you how to uh, create a database and a database user so uh, the first thing uh, is to access the admin dashboard. We are already logged in into the admin dashboard. Then we navigate to databases. So click on this uh, on this option. So here we are able to to see some other functions like uh, create database. We can delete uh, a database we had recently created. We can also list the, the databases that we have created so far, and also we have an option of uh, accessing the PHP uh, my admin. So the function of uh, uh, PHP my admin is to uh, you are able to 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 add, uh, to create uh, tables on the database that you had created. You're also able to, to view the data. So it basically gives us an interface uh, to view uh, the, the various tables in our database. So here we can also do some other functions like uh, dropping tables, creating new tables, and all that. So for us, let us uh, click on uh, uh, create uh, database. select website uh, this is our website so for the database name we can call it uh, dtec so we also have uh, the username we can have admin admin and then you also need to set uh, uh, the admin uh, the admin uh, password or rather the user's password to this uh, database so let's generate a password let us copy it somewhere in case we might need to to use it uh, then uh, we have uh, let's have uh, username We, so we have basically used the, the same name for both the user and uh, uh, the uh, both the user and the database. So then click on create. Uh, so let's click on use. Then create database. And the database has uh, successfully been created. So let's um, go back. Let's see if we are able to view the database that we have uh, created. We can list database databases. select domain and there we go we have uh, uh, we have just created this uh, database so in case you you need to use this database for your uh, to set up your website and you probably have forgotten the password this is the function to use so usually these are the uh, are the records that are required and uh, we also have the host usually in this case if you are to host a website on this um, on the same server usually the host is localhost 
So that's simply how to, to create a database and uh, record uh, these uh, credentials which uh, you will need when setting up a website or any other application. So that marks the end of uh, uh, this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial. Goodbye.